Hey guys, Mix here. In this video, we are finally going to be able to work on our new project, the RM125, uh, because our part finally came in. It's been like a week and a half since I ordered it, but it's finally here, and I'm really excited to start working on this thing. So as you guys know, I ordered the kill switch, which is in this bag right here, so we're gonna check it out and see, hopefully, if it fits. Um, it said that it fits on uh, 1992 RM125, so we should be good. And maybe this will fix the uh, problem that we're having when holding down the kill switch, there's only spark, but when I let go, there's no spark. If it does, that'll be awesome. Then we might have a fully uh, running dirt bike because it runs when there's constant spark to it i know from tapping the kill switch over and over again if not then i'm probably gonna order a new coil or check out the i think this has a cdi box or maybe just a magneto i have no idea but check out whichever cdi i, I think i'm pretty sure it's a cdi box just check out that and see how that is but anyway i'll show you guys the kill switch and then we'll get to installing it all right guys so here's the new kill switch i got the same push button kill switch um some of you were saying to get a toggle switch so there's spark when uh when it's off but the thing is it i mean there's still spark when i'm just holding it down but it's not strong enough you know so I, I don't think a toggle switch would work if i just kept it in the off position for it to still have uh spark so i i just got the uh the regular push button and we'll just see how this goes we'll see if there's any instructions or anything in here so it looks like we got some stickers from the mx mega store pretty cool all right so i took it out of the uh, bag and uh, it looks way simpler than the other one. You just got two wires, um, the one that goes in the coil, and then the one that, of course, plugs into those other wires that um, kind of just sit around. Uh, the bracket to put onto the handlebars and extra fittings just in case, I guess, these ones break. Then you also have the little rubber hose to make sure that this connection is nice and tight with the other wire. So now let's get to installing. Right, so we'll just pull up the seat and gas tank quick. Luckily the bolts aren't on, so it's kind of quick release. All right, so now we can see uh, all the wires. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rip off everything from the old kill switch, you know, all these wires, which I've already taken off. Uh, I'm pretty sure this came with the whole kit um, that the previous owner bought. So we'll take that off. And then once that off, we'll just easily replace it and then see if this works. Okay, this whole part is out. Okay, there we go. The entire kill switch is off. All right, so now we're gonna get to installing the new kill switch. Really easy. You just put it onto the handlebars right here, run the wires down, connect one wire to uh, this wire, and then connect the other to the coil. Then you're all set to go. All right, so the new kill switch is on and I just tested the spark. Still no spark while the kill switch isn't pushed down, but when it's pushed down, we have spark. So it's it's gotta be something in here or possibly the coil. So if you guys know what to do, comment down below. The kill switch checked off the list of something to replace and know that uh, that's not the problem. So I'm narrowing it down to either the coil or something inside of the engine. I believe this has a CDI box. If I'm incorrect, then correct me down in the comments. But I'm gonna see if this thing will start up and maybe, who knows, it'll run while I'm just holding down uh, this new kill switch. Maybe the spark will be a little bit better. So we'll see how it is, keep our fingers crossed. And if it is, then uh, we can just find a way to keep this held, held down or I can just order a toggle, a toggle switch. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. All right, so we'll try and start it now. Uh, this thing hasn't ran since uh, you guys last saw it, which has been like probably two weeks. So it's probably gonna take a couple of uh, kicks, but uh, it should start eventually.
All right, guys, so I couldn't get the start. It, ha it still has weak spark. So that's definitely our culprit on why it's not starting. It's definitely gotta be the spark. So comment your suggestions below on what I should do uh, to fix this problem with the whole kill switch and spark thing. But I'm gonna be ending the video here. Um, next video, we're probably gonna be working on this and doing some of your guys' suggestions. Hey guys, comment down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as you guys know, comment down below uh, what you guys think I should do. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, friends about the channel.